Hello, parents, teachers, students, NYC, DOE folks. It's come to our attention that a lot of us are having trouble getting on logged on to Zoom meetings. I'm going to assume that most of us are working with the iPads. If you are not working with the iPads, its process is still similar. You'll need to use the apps on the computer instead of the apps on the iPad. We're gonna start with a fresh screen. I'm gonna click on Zoom, mine is down here in the dock, and I click on it. Now I get to this message that says, start meeting, log in, join a meeting, sign up, sign in. Okay, I'm gonna sign in. Now, when we get to a screen like this, most of us say, oh, email address. I'm gonna put in my kid's email address and my password and then sign in. But if you look on the bottom here, it says sign in with SSO. SSO is single sign on, and that's when we get to that NYC page, that's what we need. So I'm gonna click SSO. It says enter your company domain, N-Y-C-D-O-E. Sometimes you might open this window and that's already up, and you're like, I don't know what to do, it's already signed on. You have to click on it and hit enter, or hit go. Why they didn't just make a button for that, I'll never know. It opens up a page where you see the NYC logo. Now whenever you see that NYC logo, you just need the first part of the email address, not the at and the last part. Once you put in your child's first part of the name, leave the rest blank, don't put the at, and you put in the password. Once you put in the password, click sign in. It will say open this page in Zoom, you press OK. And now Zoom is back to being logged in. You can say access or don't access. Okay, and I can tell that I'm logged in because my initials are up here. If your initials are not up here, then you are not logged in, but you also probably wouldn't see this screen if you weren't logged in. So now, now that I'm logged into Zoom, I'm gonna go back to my Google Classroom and click on the link again. Open up my Google Classroom. Now you should get a Zoom link and a meeting ID and passcode. In most cases, the Zoom link should do everything that you need it to do. You won't need the meeting ID and password now. We're gonna try it out. I'm gonna click on the link. It should open up Zoom and it goes right into the meeting. And there it is, I've entered the meeting. Make sure that you've given the camera access, the microphone access, call using internet audio. You wanna make sure you choose that. And there it is. I hope it helped you out.